Welcome to the Data Science with MATLAB video series. In this video, we'll focus on importing the data, which is the first step in the data science process. In this case, we actually have uh, a bunch of CSV files, and I have them in this storm event data directory. So you can see there's a pile of them, and uh, they go again from 1980 to 2017. And so if you're just wanting to explore the data and uh, start bringing it in, you can use the import tool. And so this is great for reading one file and again, just kind of looking at what you even have. Right? So you can interactively explore. Um, you can choose the data types that you want to bring it in as, which we'll talk about later. So um, if you want, in this case, it's going to bring it in as a table. Um, you can choose individual uh, data types or individual names. And so again, this helps really explore and um, choose how to uh, work with some of this data. For example, if uh, MATLAB wasn't able to read it, it will replace it with a NAN. And a great thing is that you can actually generate code from this. So if you uh, do this once and you have many files like this, you could actually generate a function like this and then use that over and over again to bring in the data. So there's also, um, if you're reading just one file, there's a few nice functions um, for this. So for example, read table. And so this just brings in the data, just like you saw uh, previously with the import tool. And it just reads it into MATLAB for me. And so again, this is great if you have one file. But in our case, we have multiple files spanning over those different years. And um, we need to figure out, there's al they're also uh, organized in the same exact way. And so there's a way that we can do this that's called a data store. And so a data store is a great way, again, you know, anytime you have multiple files or extremely large files um, or you know, databases with a bunch of data, you may not be able to just read it all into memory directly, uh, or you may not want to. And so a data store is a great way to manage that in MATLAB because it just really points to the data and then you can kind of choose how much data you want to access, you know, what types of data, you can control a lot of that. And so uh, we'll do that for this example in our storm event data. And so I've created a data store and as you can see, it's pointing to a number of files and it gives me some, it shows me some of the options that I have. And so I don't really want to take, I don't want to think about all of that right now, I want MATLAB to do some of the work for me. So I'm just going to get a quick preview of the data and see what uh, types and what uh, organization MATLAB has decided based on the files. I also want to uh, make sure that all of the files that I want were represented. And so I can do this by checking different properties of the data store. Um, and so here I can take a look at all the files listed and sure enough, uh, they go from 1980 to 2017. And so uh, to start out, I don't necessarily want to look at everything right away. I just want to look at the most recent data. So I'm just going to go back and select uh, 2016 and 2017. So uh, that takes care of the files or the dates that I want that I'm interested in. I also want to choose uh, which data properties or which data variables um, that I want and other properties about those. So there are 51 of these variables. Um, again, there's many representations of time. I really only need one or two of those. And so I can preview again and make sure I have uh, just the data that I need and uh, take a quick look. So I've got, again, the locations, end time, begin time, sources, uh, and our event narratives. And so uh, as you can see, there are many different data types included here. Um, so we want to make sure that we're using the best data types for the job. Um, MATLAB will try to make the best decision, but you also have control of this through the data store itself. And so for example, I can create um, categorical variables for the state and the event um, and just ensure that the uh, date variables are using the right types. All right, and so now um, I've got the right data types, I've got the right variables selected, and now I want to decide um, how much data to bring in um, and how to work with that. So with a data store, you have several options. Um, there are, so we saw preview, that reads in just the first few lines, so you can get just a feel for, a quick feel for the data. You can also read a subset of the data. So you can just use read, and that'll use the read size, uh, which I'll show in a second. You could also read all, so if you want to just bring everything from the data store into memory, go for it. 
or you could use a tall array. I'll actually show this a bit later, um, where you actually work with the data out of memory. And so you just pretend like it's any old MATLAB variable, but it's actually pointing to that out of memory data. So for now, I want to just read in a subset so I can carry on my analysis um, you know, as I usually do. And so uh, I want to check the default read size, which we can do. In this case, it's 20,000 lines. And so if I use read, as I'm doing here, um, this just brings in the first 20,000 rows. The second call to read will you know, take the next 20,000 rows, and so on. And so that's a great way to just manage you know, uh, taking small subsets and doing analysis that way. In this case, since I only, used, I only selected two years, I can actually just read all of that in. I know I have enough memory to uh, manage that. And um, as it turns out, there was 105,000 or so lines. Um, so that's a manageable set, and I'll continue uh, through my pre-processing now that I've read the data. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we'll look at pre-processing the data now that we've imported it.